Hello and welcome back to uh, Buckland Junction. It's Al in the loft, taking this project a little further. Um, I had somebody personally, a friend of mine, said, what happens if other people try this? Well, I, I'd say, well, why not have a go? If you're going to do, you know, rocks, then make sure the paper's in the right colour. But, um, if you get it wrong, you've only lost, there's probably only about five sheets of copy paper here. So, um, nothing really to worry about. And if it doesn't work out, you know, two minutes with the Stanley blade and all this will be gone. But this is the most vulnerable stage. Is it's only one piece of paper thick. Uh, ideally, I'd paint the whole lot with PVA right now, but as you're painting sections, you're also moistening up the paper, so it all starts to become soft and baggy. So you have to be careful. I just paint all the heavy indentations. The uh, the nicely folded bits of cut uh, paper have got more um, more strength. They're more rigid. So uh, just put, just paint bits and bobs. Then I'll have to go back. If you look along this end, hopefully you can see see the um, places I've been. Little shiny spots. They will go hard like a eggshell and. Uh, then I will be able to apply more and more paint. This is the time consuming bit. So the whole process starts again. Um, my favourite part about modern railway is running the trains without a doubt. Um, I'm fitting the um, high frequency um, track cleaners at the moment so um, and I've got two inches of rail left. There are two small sections about this long of the top line to do so uh, I think either next video we should have four four uh, um, rails running for the first time the two top main lines just applying that first little coat hither and thither has made this so much more um, yeah this it's already started to take some form but even again now it's still wet you can see look how baggy it starts to get as soon as you start painting it so uh, you can lose some of the detail if you go too crazy at first. This is, um, what is this? It's, wall, um, it's external PVA, so um, uh, once I get it fully coated, I shall be able to uh, get thicker and thicker coats on, especially when the, um, the poly filler is uh, mixed in with it. But uh, what you must avoid is drips runs where you end up with a drip because it's so so annoying you, it's such a shape that it just sticks out as a as a drip as a run and um yeah that's not the idea but uh, steady as she goes you can see i'm taking less care on this coat because it's uh certain parts are already started to become rigid so um back in a little while when i've got something to report well, as you can see, uh, while the glue is drying, um, I've also got a carriage off around the other side, the layout I've got to go and sort out, but I'm putting in my um, 
high frequency um, track cleaners into the system so uh, yeah everything is happening at the moment uh, so back in a minute with some more <laughs> Well, that's two heavy coats. There's a drip. Mustn't have any drips. Um, two heavy coats. I've got to wait for this to dry now. And it's times like this you realise how stinky PA glue is. It uh, smells something like cow's poo and something going rotten. But uh, there we go. I put a bit of brick paper in there behind the uh, behind the steps. So. Uh, yeah, be back with some more when I've done some more. Oh, come on, girl, girl, get going. A nice big blob. Oops. Your camera skills are getting no better, are they? A nice big blob of um, of um, polyfiller. A nice squirt of PVA glue. And some water. Somewhere like that. I'll just mix this up and I'll be back. PVA. Water. And polyfiller. So let me do some work with this and I'll be back in a little while. Okay, this is 20 minutes on. I've slapped this uh, coating of PVA and poly filler on. It's gone on really quite well. This is coat number three, the first coat of poly filler and PVA. You can see here it's soaking wet. Can you? And glistening and already in 20 minutes it's already taken on a nice matte finish over there so uh, back in a moment what's the old Hornby double though that was this is a shout out to Matt Mark sorry Mark give peas a chance this is what I've uh, got, mate. It's all Pico. Girder bridges, about six. Plate bridges. Some station parts, buffer stops, all Pico. And I'm not sure what this is, but... Uh, and... Uh, there you go, you can stop the camera and have a look. So this is what I've got. Any good to you? I would be more than willingly send it up to you, mate. If not, it's going on eBay. So that's Mark. Well, this is nearly the end of this video because, um, one, I want to get it uploaded to uh, YouTube. Um, the soldering iron's just been plugged in. I'm going to continue putting my track cleaning in because I think my tracks really do need cleaning so uh, hopefully this is going to do the cho uh, job and we'll have some really smooth running I hope you've enjoyed the uh, few trains passing today I have oh I want to say a special thank you to a few people that's uh, Mattress Mattress you know who you are you cheeky monkey uh, and Woody and Woody and Woody Woods um, uh, a special uh, message is going to go out to uh, Mark at uh, Main Trains. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have about an hour or so just gently doing some wiring changes here. And uh, yeah, that's our in the loft. That's the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I have. See you again soon. And hope this COVID nonsense ends soon because uh, 
yeah I want to do the Friday meetings at the pub again so uh, it's all to live for take care good people bye bye